Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. We all know that Bitcoin, blockchain, Web3, the metaverse, and digital assets is changing the game and it is the future. Well, I don't know what the future looks like, but I know one thing. This project that I'm about to show you could be a game changer when it comes to like digital ID and security and how we move around and connect our wallet, etc., throughout the blockchains and Web3 of the future. I'm telling you guys, this project excites me. And the best thing about it is we can get in on the early public pre-sale that it has coming up. I'm going to walk you through that process. I'm going to introduce you to this blockchain. And guys, I highly recommend you go to their website and you do your own research. And I think you'll come to the same conclusion and you'll want to get involved. Now, before we get into that, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. We're trying to grow this community and we do appreciate it. And if you like what I share with you, please share among the people in the community that you know. Now, let's get into it. Guys, this is called Humanoid. Now, humanoid is basically biometric security. It's kind of like a passport for surfing uh, throughout the, the Web3 or uh, the, the future of the metaverse or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's has it's going to have interconnectivity through biometrics. And I'm going to show you a video here in a little bit that it make you understand it a little bit more because it's very high tech. I wish I was a developer that understood it better, and I wish I was a video guy that could create these, you know, really impressive videos, but I'm not that guy. I am a bellwether. I want to point you in the right direction. Do your own research. Uh, I think you'll come to the same conclusion, and guys, this is one impressive project, and like I said, I don't know what the future looks like, but it damn sure may look like this project right here for what it offers. Now, let's take a look. To so go to humanoid.io, that's H-U-M-A-N-O-D-E dot I-O, surf around. Click on um, the papers, and it will take you to this page. And guys, it talks about what the problem is, and the problem is basically identity theft and hackers and all the stuff that we're aware of. Uh, there's way too many... Uh, things going on. You have to have a lot of technical knowledge to do this, uh, to surf around, uh, to do DeFi, to go to the metaverse. They're trying to simplistic, make that more simplistic, but in a very secure way where you literally have your own personal human node that you are 100% uh, in charge of. Uh, I don't know how all it's all going to work and, and how it validates itself. But the one cool thing is once you've created that identity, it's kind of like a passport, guys. Anything that happens along the way that's criminal, they can lock it down and ban you from ever being part of the system again. And that's pretty damn impressive. And if someone steals your identity or whatever, they're going to have a direct avenue to be able to go catch these guys. Now, it's early, but this will make sense to you in a little bit. Uh, so that's kind of the problems they want to solve. Uh, go surf around. This tells you about the tech stack, which is very technical, guys, of how they're going to do all that stuff. I'm not going to get into it, but I would uh, suggest going there and look at this tech stack. Um, you know, it's basically it's going to use unique uh, a uniqueness check. I don't know exactly what that is, if it's uh, face recognition or whatever, because the video I'm going to show you talks about how they can steal your face recognition. So I don't know how else they're going to validate it, but uh, it's the early stages, but it is cutting edge, and this will make sense uh, if you stay with me. But here's what I like the most, guys. I always want to understand the team. Well, this has a blockbuster team. They're very intelligent. This is a cutting edge project. But now, if you look at their partners, 
guys, they've raised a ton of money. A lot of VCs, uh, they have partners like Avalanche, and that is not just a partner of setting it up because this is their own layer one. They've actually given them money. So this is a first rate projects, and I love to see that. Quite frankly, we're lucky to get in on it because normally these VCs, you know, take up all the uh, money and they don't need to do a pre-sale or anything like that, but they are. Now, um, bear with me. Uh, if you get in on the public sale, which I'm going to show you how, but before I do, I'm going to show you a video about what we're talking in. But if you get in on the public sale, there's going to be some options. If you buy an option one, you're going to buy in at 17 cents and you can sell your token at any time. If you buy it at 15 cents, uh, you got a 30 day lock. And if you buy it 13 cents, you have a, a 20 day lock. So go, you know, scroll down. Uh, on this page and kind of study up and it'll tell you exactly what you uh, can do. Now, I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you briefly and I'll probably interrupt it just for a second in the middle because I don't want YouTube to think I'm copying this video. But check this out, guys. It's pretty cool and hopefully it'll make sense to you. And then I'll show you how to get in on the pre sale. shows you right out of the gate that is a problem and when, no matter how high tech it's going to get in the future he just stole her identity and drained her bank account and now he's about to be jet set like her now watch this I don't know about you guys, but that little smirk right there at the end kind of bothers me. I don't know what the future is going to look like as far as uh, when everything gets tied in together, but I do know we have CDBCs. The stable coins are probably going to be backed by the bank. Uh, you know, the government's probably going to end up tracking almost every single person um, uh, doing everything and have full access. I hope I'm wrong. That part scares me. But either way, that's going to be a long, long time to come. And I'm going to try to capitalize along the way, no matter how centralized or decentralized, you know, blockchain in the metaverse and Web3 becomes. But projects like this, guys, it's the future. Now, this may not be it. And again, not financial advice, but this token in 10 years could be, you know, a thousand X. I have no doubt. And even though we are in really 
a bad time to launch, especially this month. There's nothing positive whatsoever going on in the economy. I truly believe this thing's going to pump right out of the gate because it's got a lot of money behind it and a lot of eyeballs on it. Now, if you want to go be part of the pre sale, go to blog.humidnode.io. B L O G dot H U M A N O D E dot I O. Uh, that's the public sale whitelist. Scroll down. Uh, and it shows you, I wish I'd have got in on the wave one, two, and three, but guys, we can get in on wave three, which is the public sell. Uh, click on that. Let's see. Here we go. And then just fill out the form and they'll send you the information, uh, themselves and you'll be able to take it from there. Now, what they talk about is they say that this public sale is going to be on launched on tokensoft.io i've never used it quite frankly i'm just becoming aware of it but i'm assuming they're going to send you to this website right here and you're going to have to sign up download the app and that's how you're going to get involved with it anyway guys that's all i got for you hopefully you like this information if you did i want you to subscribe we've got a lot of great great projects coming down the pipe that i'm trying to get out uh, I'm try to give you the best non-biased information. I try to keep you from getting scammed. I know that uh, a lot of people give me a hard time about how I say that a lot of tokens are pump and dumps or, or scams. But guys, when you compare almost every scam token that's on my uh, channel, when you compare it to a project like this, you can see how uh, I can justify calling them a scam. You need to know who the team is. You need to ha they need to have some money behind them to even be able to pull it off. And but projects like this guys really excite me. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. Are y'all going to get involved? Do you like it? What do you think about it? Uh, if you have any other projects like this, please let me know. That's how I find a lot of projects. And guys, I got a list of good ones coming up from my community. I can't keep up, and that really excites me. That being said, we're trying to grow this community. We'd love you to be part of it. So go ahead and subscribe, mash that notification, hit the like button. And again, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'd love you to share this with your friends. Take care, guys.